this is um, the worst part about rescuing animals to rehabilitate them and stuff like that. I mean, it just hurts. So I've come to. And you all know I've got Xena, my big rescue boa constrictor, big girl. We rescued her um, with the intention to rehabilitate her and then rehome her and. Then, well, I can't really tell you here. Have you ever felt that low that you just need to get out and go for a walk? Let's do that. I can't really tell you the story of everything that's happened here. I mean, let's go for a walk. Crap, we're on a train track. We don't want to be here. That's better. Let me show you around. A little bit of light, a little bit of gold Under pressure you start to fold Like a diamond from gold Absolutely amazing place this is. If you're a long time subscriber of the channel you would have seen this place many times before. It's just a general walk along the canal. Absolutely stunning place. This is where I come. When things are just getting a bit too much, you just want to unwind and yeah, this is where I come. There seems to be a lot of construction work going around, so you might hear a lot of um, bits and bobs going on, but doesn't it look stunning here? So back to the story with Xena. Um, obviously she was a rescue boa constrictor we picked her up back in October I think it was last year and um, it's no secret that I generally do pick up animals and uh, to rehabil rehabilitate them and find them new homes uh, when they're fully back to health and stuff like that majority of the time most of the animals that I have taken I've only taken in six or seven over the last few years so I don't do it on big scale simply because I can't afford to do it on big scale I'll get one uh, rehabilitated and move it on and then get another one in and stuff but the case and I've done it before many a times the case with Xena was I created a bond with her and it just makes it a bit hard when you go through that much stuff with that single animal I mean Xena's never ever going to trust me again simply because the amount of work I've had to do to her every single time I've gone into the enclosure to get her it's always been to work on her to do something with her and it just it's been a quite aggressive because she wouldn't let me touch her uh, so it was a case of getting eye caps off and stuff and she just she's just aggressive towards me now but I had a bond with her and um, like I said we've been through so much together when Zena came in she was extremely overweight and I mean extremely overweight uh, she had three layers of stuck eye caps on each eye loads of stuck shed all over her body she had a respiratory infection uh, she had a burn on the top of her neck at the back which that everything over time has worked itself out we've healed it up uh, it's, she's cost me over 800 pound in vets bills uh, but that's what happens when you rescue animals but we i had a bond with her i really did love her but she needed to move on make space for whoever what animal goes next and it just hurts when you have to rehome the animal um, especially when you've got such a bond with that animal i mean when i done my madagascan giant day gecko that wasn't this painful Zena just had a personality of her own and it's why I come out to places like this when I'm a bit overwhelmed or something like that and it just well just look around it's absolutely amazing so um come out sort myself out you can hear the construction work going shall we get the drone out <laughs> That footage isn't the best, but DJI, if you're watching, send me a Movi Pro. I want to drone this canal properly. <laughs> hey, yeah, Zena's gone. She's um, gone to a new forever home. But don't worry, guys. I did all the uh, correct checks and everything. I made sure she was going to a great place, and believe me, she really is. She's got one hell of a huge enclosure to go into because uh, she went with just the animal. That way, um, I can check on the enclosure, make sure the enclosure is good enough for her. And she has, she's got a huge enclosure with a lovely couple that um, they've got a few bigger snakes as well. They've been in the hobby for years and years and years and they've had big snakes for years. 
So uh, Zena, she's gone to a better home, a forever home. She's gonna be loved forever, but God, I'm gonna miss her. But me missing her, that's just me being selfish, isn't it? Because let's face it, Zena didn't particularly like me, which is the hard part about rescuing animals, because you're always working on the animal, trying your hardest to get that animal back to perfect health. So with Zena, she was on a very strict diet to try and drop some of the weight that she did have. Wasn't um, a harsh diet, but it was a strict diet. She wasn't fed as much as she should have done, but when she was fed, it was bigger meals. And we're just trying to drop that body fat index down on her. Um, then there was the eye caps, constantly trying to get her head, get her in baths, which she, she didn't like baths. So she really doesn't like baths. But then get her head with a firm grip. So not to harm her, but so I can keep her safe and keep myself safe while trying to get the eye caps off. Um, constantly creaming up the burn and there was just loads and loads of work that she'd done. I mean, I was the one that was injecting her with the proper antibiotics to cure her respiratory infection. And now she's gone off to a absolutely adorable home. She's got a huge enclosure. It's gonna be, she's gonna love it. And the new owners can start working on, not so much taming her down because she is quite mellow as it is. She's just unpredictable. But they can start building a bond with her allowing her to trust the new owners because she'll never trust me like i've said the amount of work i've done to her she'll it'll take years and years and years for her to trust me but that was never the goal with xena the goal was always to bring her back up to health rehome her to a loving home which is just one of those things that i do get that animal out of that bad situation and let her live a life of luxury that's the way it works i mean it's it's selfish on my part because i'm gonna miss her and I'm, all that sort of stuff but it's better for her because she's gonna have an absolutely amazing, loving home for the rest of her life. Which, that is something to be proud about, I suppose. But I'm gonna be getting regular, regular updates on Xena. So uh, as and when I do get updates, I'll give you guys an update if that's something you're interested in, stick it in the comments below. So I'm gonna go for another drone fly, just because I like to play with the drone. <laughs> That construction noise is really annoying. Can't get any proper filming done. <laughs> Do any of you guys remember uh, the first time that I got Xena? When I got her back, I let her settle down for a few days. And uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna link up in the card section above right now a video of Xena. Uh, <laughs> yeah, when I first got her, I let her settle down for a bit, a few days. Then I decided I'd try and get her out and sort of get her used to a bit of handling, start working on her, getting some stuck shed off her and um, sort out the eye caps and stuff. So I, I let her out, let her for a stretch around my uh, flat. And she is, she's having a good old stretch. I'm working away in my reptile room. Let's face it, how much trouble could a big snake get up to in a tiny flat? Yeah, you wanna check that video. I'll link it right now. And uh, that's where she um, got into the kitchen, onto one of the kitchen shelves, mouth open. <sighs> she didn't want me anywhere near her. <laughs> But then again, at that time, she had, both eyes were covered in eye caps, like I've said already. So uh, she couldn't see, she was basically blind. She could hear me coming, she could feel the vibrations of me coming, but she couldn't actually see me. So it's understandable for it to be like that. God, she was such a character, wasn't she? <laughs> I'll lay a clip over now of uh, the stuck shed. When I first got her, God, the amount of shed that come off her, I stuck her in the bath, let all the shed come off, it was amazing. Let me know, do you guys come out and about when it, whenever things are getting a bit too much for you? Do you guys come out, stretch your legs, go for a walk, all that sort of stuff? Um, I'm going to go for a walk and then head back. Commence B-roll. Right guys, it's time to go back home. We're back home, come on. So now the question is guys, what do I do with the enclosure? Let me explain. Do I simply just clean out the enclosure, get it ready for another rescue? I'm a bit against that because, well, lately I've got a new job. My finances aren't as good as possible. So if I do get another animal, will I be able to afford the vet's bills, the upkeep, 
all that sort of stuff until I actually do find, until I do get the next animal up and ready for a new home. Or do I uh, use that enclosure for an upgrade maybe? Maybe I can get the leopard geckos from that three foot enclosure into Xena's old four foot enclosure. That leaves me with a three foot enclosure then. I have another three foot enclosure that is empty. So maybe I could put them side to side and have a six foot thin enclosure for something. It's just an idea I'm playing around with. Let me know in the comments section below um, which you what you guys would prefer. I'm swaying more towards the build bigger enclosures, better enclosures for the animals I already have simply because finances are quite tight lately. Now that brings me to the end of the video. Zena's going to be happy so that in turn makes me happy. I'm going to go to work. Peace out guys.